and the rain continues. It's been a long time since I had this much rain while camping. Awesome. Rain, rain, go away. Got a lot of rain this morning. Um, now we're in a real heavy downpour, as you can hear. I don't know if it's picking up my audio or not. But anyhow, I told a friend at work I wanted some rain on this camping trip to test my gear. Rain, some rain. I wasn't looking forward to a monsoon. But everything's uh, everything's holding up. <clears throat> Alright, here's the rain outside. It drains off pretty quick when it stops. I had to really lower that corner to keep it from coming in. The camper appears all right. Some, uh, can't go over there either. A lot of rain. The rain is slowing down, thankfully. It's still raining, just not as hard as it was. But look how high the water's coming up into my uh, social tent. Fortunately, Phoenix bed is still on the high side of the of the bowl. That's a lot of water coming in. So I'm glad I don't have floors on this tent. I think it works better. So it, it rained uh, well in the evening last night. So I couldn't pack up any gear ahead of time. Everything was soaked. My uh, social tent is still soaked. I'm going to have to dry that home. But everything else I think is reasonably dry, especially the roll of tarp. It's hard to open up at home. Anyhow, we're on our way home. I'm taking the north way out, even though it's shorter for me to go south. Look at that dune on the right, how they built that all up. Concrete, I presume. Um, and, uh, all these homes over here on the left. It looks like more rain's coming in today, according to the weather forecast in the sky. But anyhow, coming in from the south to this beach over here is really problematic. There's, there's a lot of uh, hairpin tins and it's right along the swamp. It is beautiful, it's nice being on the ocean, but it's such a harsh environment, such a, a test of one's um, gear and aptitude. And uh, I love it, I'm not complaining. Um, obviously I'm still alive. Uh, the water was rising. Well, that's cool with all the pirates on that house. Anyhow, beachfront motel, cool. All this huge dike to my right, this huge dike to my right reminds me of um, living in Michigan and the dike they built around like Lake Sinclair and Lake Erie and all the Great Lakes um, because of the massive fluctuation in water height and waves. I mean, that thing's the crust of that has to be at least six, eight feet above the crest of this road. Incredible. If any one portion of that fails, the whole thing fails. The road fails, these homes are gone. Oh, here's one for sale. I should call and find out how much that costs. That's a whole hotel, too. All right. I'm going to be turning left up here at the traffic light. I'll be off the ocean. But anyhow, I just want to conclude this uh, this camping trip to um, Gamble Rogers in Flagler Beach. Thank you for hosting us. We had a great time. We uh, got tested to the limit, and we're ready to go home and uh, gear up for the next trip. All right, over and out. i got to pay attention. i got a traffic light coming up.